Good day. Kumusta kayo? Welcome to the second discussion in our class. So at the end of this topic, you as learners will be able to discuss the concepts, historical qualities, and dimensions of globalization and explain the effects on multitudes of globalization, including trade and trade policies. So it in contents na ating uh, discussion for today, concepts, qualities, historical, dimensions, and trade. Let's proceed with the general concepts. So in material definition or tangible definition of globalization, every country exercises their sovereignty. No, The reason why there's independence, including freedom, rule of law. But when it comes to globalization, there is the state or condition of trust of two or more countries in terms of products and services. So, yeah, we are exercising sovereignty, rule of law, constitution ng bawat bansa. Pero when it comes to products and services, uh, interdependent tayo sa bawat isa. No? And when it comes to immaterial definition or intangible definition of globalization, people, tayo, as the agent of globalization, we share non-material culture, values, tradition, faith, philosophy, beliefs, may nangyayaring inculturation. It so happen, may, meron din nangyayaring deculturation. No? So, and the common products or output, medium of interest sa globalization ay itong goods and services. No? Products and services are mere products of technology, while technology is one principal driver of globalization. Kapag maunlad ang teknolohiya ng isang bansa, mas malaki yung economic contribution nito at mas affected sila ng globalization. So globalization is about growing worldwide connectivity. Sabi nga ng, sa paper na nakatouch sa Google Classroom natin, globalization is making our world smaller. No? Dako tayo sa historical foundation no? ng globalization. So globalization rapidly happens since 1940s, no? sabi nga natin last week. Bakit anong meron dito? After World War II, no? uh, may mga foreigners, soldiers na dating sakop nila yung mga territory and then they preferred to stay no? for good dun sa lugar na yun, no? And there's an account also na sa globalization na as early as Han Dynasty, when they build Silk Road from mainland China to Europe, it tells na meron ng globalization. Pero, but historians and sociologists claim globalization was present as early as the period of ancient times where primitive hunters and gatherers, hunters ng wild animals, gatherers of fruits and vegetables, interacted with one another. So may mga tribe, no? nagsishare sila na kanilang products at the same time services, considered na rin daw siyang globalization. It so happened na siya illimited no? by geography kasi may lack of technology. And then nag-proceed sa pre-modern no? na introduce yung writing, uh, even yung will, no? where great social and technological boosts happened. No? Uh, mas pabilis yung exchange of goods and services through wills. No? And then mas na-record through writing yung mga events nangyari or accounts history. And then here comes early modern where European experienced this intellectual revolution. After the fall of the uh, golden age of the church, individuals or Europeans questioned this faith no? and focused on sa reason. No? The reason why itong mga Intellectuals, no, they made theories, uh, principles, inventions, no, hanggang sa nagkaroon ng makinarya, no, yung technology na kapag-produce ng mga goods. At dito na introduce yung capitalist world system or capitalism, no. After early modern, dito sa modern era, yung output or yung uh, outcome or product ng technology, dito na mas lalong napalalim. Meron ng transportation, communications, no? technology, 
And since during the modern era, secured ang production at needs ng mga tao na so sustain yung demands and may satisfaction na natatanggap ang mga tao, no? uh, nag-boom yung population. No? Mapapansin natin yan sa globe natin or map. No? Yung most populous countries, kalimitan na sa equator. No? Dahil ano, dahil mainit or warm area yung lugar doon. So mas mabilis mabuhay yung mga plants, animals, uh, vegetables. No? So madami harvest, mas secure the food, mas maraming population. Alex, sa North and South Hemisphere na malamig. No? So mabagal yung production ng food and it follows na hindi ganun kataas yung uh, reproduction. No? So with this, na nag, meron population explosion and then people migrated to another places, no? uh, it leads to a more cultural exchanges. No? Mas lalo naging uh, present yung globalization. The modern world or era, yung na-invent na or na-introduce na early and then na modern, mas nag-expand, nag-accelerate. No? Yung mga na-establish na mga companies sa mga bansa-bansa, no? meron nagkaroon sila ng kakayahan na uh, mag-put ng business sa ibang bansa. No? Naging, in, naging transnational corporations na sila. No? Ito na yung Nike, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Unilever, and so forth. No? So mapapansin natin, itong globalization na to gaya nga ng sabi natin ano kapag binakikita tayo na products sa ibang bansa through movies or nagwork tayo abroad or even mga kamag-anak natin na nagpapadala ng goods no mapapansin natin na almost the same yung ating products no proceed tayo sa qualities no so there are four qualities of globalization una it establishes or creates institutes new social networks. Mapapansin natin yan sa when it comes to entertainment and products. No? Dati, uh, yung product or services nandun na sa isang lugar. No? Pero ngayon, dahil sa globalization, nagta-travel siya or na-export siya sa ibang lugar. No? When it comes to entertainment, yeah, ang Thai movies, ang BTS, it stays before sa bansa nila no pero dahil sa products na globalization Netflix, internet, YouTube no yung creates new social network it expands no nagbo-branch siya no gaya na McDo no 7-Eleven franchises dati sa US lang siya and then mapapansin natin sa bawat bayan dito sa Pilipinas halos lahat meron no ang Maxes Group na kilala natin sa chicken ngayon nag-expand sila may Krispy Kreme, may Jamba Juice, even Rustans no ang Robinsons na alam natin ay mall and drustans ang Robinsons nag-expands din no meron na silang uh, Jack and Jill Corporation yung yung Digital dati no at saka yung Sun Cellular even yung Cebu Pacific sa kanila din no ang Philippine Pizza Corporation nakilala natin sa Pizza Hut ngayon sila ay nag-expand din may Dairy Queen and Taco Bell no so with this no nag-stretch siya and nag-expand. Ang products and services ng globalization, hindi lang siya nag-stay sa expansion. No? It, it deepens, it intensifies, and it accelerates. No? So for example, itong social media naman natin. No? Ang Facebook, before, ang purpose nga ni, ng, ni Mark Zuckerberg dito ay para sa social networking lang ng university nila. No? And then after niya defend yung thesis niya and then ginawa niya public no ngayon hindi lang siya social media nagii siyang marketing no uh, communication natin no meron din siyang rooms may group no and then may page may promotional no may advertisements no? even LinkedIn no so dati siya ay more more on work related social networks, ngayon ay pwede na rin siya maging marketing and news. No? And as it intensifies and accelerates, yung last stage niya or qualities, it enters the human consciousness. No? Part na ng sistema natin itong globalization. 
kapag nga no, wala na kuryente halimbawa no parang we are affected walang internet walang uh, yung ating co- uh, computer or gadgets hindi natin magagamit no uh, affected tayo no we are worried na baka may mag- mag-chat or mag-email or may task sa school no even itong education system natin no it enters to our human consciousness yung American curriculum in the Philippine context naging localized na no sa atin even our english no na introduce sa atin na americans nagisyang uh, localized no yung ating english language 